Concrete is all around us, a part of every modern building, and over the past decades we've made major strides in concrete engineering. The International Glass Fibre Reinforced Concrete Association champions the use of glass fibre reinforced concrete and the benefits that it can bring to a construction project. In an era where we think ever more about efficiency in construction and the environmental impact we have, there has never been a better time to embrace GRC. We offer our passion, our expertise and our experience to help expand the use of the material and to improve building projects across the globe. Glass fibre reinforced concrete was developed in the uh, late 60s, early 70s uh, and whereas normal precast concrete is reinforced with uh, steel, uh, which obviously can corrode, uh, the rationale behind glass fibre reinforced concrete was to actually provide this reinforcement with glass fibres that of course don't corrode. The difference is that with steel Steel is just placed within certain areas within the concrete uh, to an engineering design and it generally means that the uh, concrete has to be quite thick. Uh, with glass fibre reinforced concrete, the reinforcements mix throughout the concrete matrix, which means consequently you can make the products much thinner. There's various reasons why people would use uh, GRC. Uh, the main reason we find is that it's the weight saving. Because typically on a, uh, a construction project that's using uh, precast concrete as a cladding material, you can achieve weight savings of around, you know, maybe 70, 75 to 80%, which reduces dead load on the structure and it also makes it a lot easier to, uh, to install it. Now, the other advantages about GRC are that uh, it's, it's quite environmentally friendly. Uh, although it has more cement in it than traditional precast concrete, because it's so much thinner and so much less of it, you're using less cement. And cement is, is uh, the manufacturer's cement is, is, is quite a high contributing factor to CO2 emissions. As an architect or a designer, you can be more creative with regards to the shapes and the geometry of the units. You can make more flowing units. So it's a lot more adaptable. Glass fibre reinforced concrete is a versatile material, suitable for a wide range of uses. It's a semi-structural material, but with reduced weight, allowing for reduced foundation needs, and offers the potential for creative use in a way no other concrete could. It's easily applied through either spray application or as pre-moulded units, ready to be installed on site. The range of applications show its versatility, able to seamlessly blend into the facades of historical buildings or create sweeping modernist shapes in new builds. It's a competitive green material that reduces the need for reinforced steel and delivering significant improvements in durability and erosion resistance. Behind me is 30 Cannon Street, which was built in 1976. It's one of the first buildings that featured GRC. Originally when it was designed, it had a 25-year projected lifespan, and in 2002 it was surveyed, uh, and at that point determined that it had the cladding, the GRC cladding, had an indefinite life lifespan on it. This is Great Eastern Keys, uh, development for Notting Hill Housing Association, 350 flats in total plus commercial units a mixture of um, affordable rent, market rent, shared ownership for sale and enhanced sale flats, say all for Notting Hill housing. We're using glass fibre GRC in two different locations. We're using it on the first block for pods around the windows and uh, smaller panels under the windows. And then on the second block, we're using it on two storey high feature panels. It's used on the first block because of the colour and the uh, size and the weight. Uh, the second block it changed, it was originally uh, precast concrete but it was too heavy. We had panels there weighing in excess of 100 kilos each uh, and it wasn't practical to fit those so uh, we looked at doing it with the crane. We've got crane restrictions that we couldn't do so we need an alternative so looked at GRC. Um, we could match the original product like for like, you can't really tell the difference visually. Uh, it's a lot lighter and these panels can be fitted by hand by two people individually. More and more things are being made off-site. Uh, the more that can be made off-site, the better control you've got. 
we say off-site controls, factory conditions compared to the wind, rain and weather on site when you're trying to build something on site. It's a shortage of labour across the whole building industry and more that they can be specialists on to building things on site, um, then it allows other things to be made off site so it takes some of the pressure on to offer the uh, site resources. Is is my first project with GRC, I'm very happy with that. Um, it's very it's very easy to install, it's very easy to unload and load and also if we have minor repairs to do it, it's quite easy to repair and uh, to get the same color, same, same surface treatment uh, that the architects always look for. More and more buildings have got to meet certain targets in terms of uh, their environmental impact etc etc and there is a scoring matrix that's used uh, and GRC would score very, very highly, primarily because of this uh, less cement that's used uh, to, to effectively produce cladding for a building. But that uh, growth in popularity is not just in the UK, it's throughout the world. As a trade association, we're finding our membership is growing uh, so very rapidly.